hey guys this is evie and welcome back to my channel so for this nail design i started off with long care pretty nails pixie pink acrylic powder and i just applied this to all of the nails i am still wearing those false nails that i reviewed from ec basket they've been on for about a week and they're still going strong so all i did was file off my previous nail polish and i'm just applying the pixie pink acrylic yeah i am impressed with these false tips um they are on here i've been washing my hands and doing all my normal stuff and they are not loose or, or anything so i do recommend these false nails if you guys are looking for a quick fix to get a good shape um you know without having to do too much filing and it makes it super easy to apply acrylic over top because as i stated in previous videos you're just doing a acrylic overlay so it's fairly simple and this long hair pretty nails pixie pink acrylic powder is available on my website longhairprettynails.com i will leave the link down below So this is after the acrylic has set and I have filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm applying this yellow nail polish from OPI and it's called Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. And it is a beautiful, rich yellow color. It is just simply gorgeous. And I just applied two coats of this nail polish to my nails. For my index finger, I'm creating a French tip, so I just apply the nail polish to the tip of the nail and just try to make the French tip as neat as possible. So for my 3D flowers, I use these color acrylics from banggood.com. And I'm using my Kalinsky 3D brush from banggood.com and just using this to create my 3D flowers. This brush has become my absolute favorite as far as the 3D brushes go. Um, the tip of the brush stays pointed so I don't have to twirl it and form it. It just stays like that, which is a big help. Um, I did get word that this brush is currently sold out, but just keep checking back. I'm sure they'll get more in stock, but if you can get your hands on this brush, it is a, a godsend as far as creating your perfect 3D flowers. So after doing the outer petals, I'm going to do two inner petals, taking yellow acrylic and dipping it into the orange to create a nice gradient effect.
For the center, I just put a tiny bead of pink and create a little indentation in the center, you know, just to make it look like a flower center. And I repeat the same process for the other flowers. Um, but for this flower, I'm just doing the gradient effect that I showed you in previous 3D acrylic flower videos where I just take a bead of the yellow and dip it into the pink to create that nice gradient ombre effect. And sometimes the effect doesn't translate on the bead at once. So I do go in and add more pink where I think I need it. And for the center of this flower, I take an orange bead and place it in the center to create the center of the flower. And for this smaller flower here, I'm just using yellow acrylic and I'm going to do a center of pink. And for the 3D flower nail, I'm just applying it around the flowers. And as always, you wanna make sure your nail polish is completely dry before you apply the gel top coat. And I'm just going in with my Alpha gel brush to make sure I get all of the gel polish in the crevices and around the flowers as close as possible. And then I go in with some iridescent crystals and these beachy theme charms from Beauty Big Bang. The iridescent crystals are available on longcareprettynails.com. And then I cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. A very cute, bright design that is perfect for summer. I love this bright color. This is just so pretty. And I just love these 3D flowers. The pink and yellow just goes perfect together. It just came out so perfect. So if you guys are interested in the Pixie Pink Acrylic Powder, head over to LongCarePrettyNails.com and check out my shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.